Okay guys, this is probably the go-to farm in New Jersey for the fall. This is called Happy Day Farms in Central Jersey and it is amazing. It has so many photo installations and plenty of activities for kids and adults. A corn maze, pumpkin picking, pumpkin bowling, giant checkers, a petting zoo, pony rides, a fun slide, tires and more tires, lemonade, hay rides, and so much more. I couldn't even squeeze into this TikTok. Make sure to check out their site for tickets ahead of time to make sure they have availability and go early. We went an hour before closing and missed half of the activities we could have done there. So anyways, enjoy! Okay guys, I just pulled out all of our fall decor and we're going to start here in the kitchen. We're going to start off with this plate stand and I'm going to put it right by the sink. And I like to swap out some of the cleaning products for seasonal scents. I'm just going to add in a little candle right here. Okay, next is this area here on my counter. Notice that this glass pumpkin actually has a hole at the bottom. And I remembered I had these little fairy lights from last year. So I'm just going to feed these fairy lights right through the bottom. And then you can just turn them on like that. Just use your hand to kind of like guide it back. And now you have a light up pumpkin. I didn't know where else to put this bundle of corn, so I felt like the kitchen was fitting. Then I'm adding this green matte pumpkin. Lastly, I found these cute salt and pepper pumpkin shakers. Okay, so that part's done, and then I'm just gonna switch out the greenery here. We're just gonna add some fall florals. Okay, so this is my favorite part. We're gonna decorate the kitchen island, but first I'm gonna give it a good wipe down. I'm gonna add this runner. It has a really nice dark brown detailing. Starting off with the left side, I'm going to add this amber glass. I don't know what this is called, but I like how it has some greenery because it's like a good transition from summer to fall. One more of this one, and then I top it off with this. I have another one of these pumpkins with the hole at the bottom. So, of course, we're going to add this light. I found these candle stands from Target. I'm going to place them right here. These are actually battery operated candles. They feel like a real candle, like they have real wax. It actually like shaves off. And it has these drips that are fake, obviously, but we're gonna put these right there. Next, I'm gonna add this garland. I'm just gonna kind of weave it in between these three pieces. Last touch, I'm just gonna add some of these white pumpkins all around. Okay, so here is the final look of everything here in the kitchen. I love it. It feels so cozy. But let me know what you guys think. Oh, come on. It's just a bunch of hopeless hopeless. I can't be the only one who hears you. Falling down at the party Saddest little baby in the room Is it terrifying? No, I don't think so. It's the way it is, you know. Everything must come to an end. The drip finally stops. If you love fall in Colorado, this is for you. I'm starting a series tomorrow called 40 Days of Fall Activities of the Best Things to Do to Enjoy the Season. It'll bring us right up to Halloween, so follow along. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Shrieking skulls of...
I can't be the only one who hears you. Tears falling down at the party. Saddest little baby in the room. I can't be the only one who hears you. Tears falling down at the party. Saddest little baby in the room. Some people even think it's fun to smash pumpkins. I can't be the only one who hears you. Tears falling down at the party. Saddest little baby in the room. Mm -hmm. 